The Safford Bulldogs came ready to play Friday and hosted the Coolidge Bears, who appeared a little timid as they came into the dog pound for Safford's homecoming. We'll get right to highlights after this brief message from our sponsor. Hi, I'm Rob Hatch, the new owner of Arizona Dodge, formerly Hatch Brothers. I'd like to personally invite you to stop by Arizona Dodge and see why we're different than any other dealer in the Gila Valley. I look forward to seeing you here. Thank you. After the playing of the national anthem, note everyone standing at attention, the Bulldogs got the ball but couldn't convert on third and long when Payson Harsh's pass was broken up by two Bears, and the Bulldogs were forced to punt. The Bears were driving as Matthew Reese was making Bulldogs miss until he ran into Keaton John, who whoop, forced the fumble which Bailey Sanford recovered. Long gone John then showed the Bears how it was done as he helped move the Bulldogs down the field with some tough running and capitalized on the turnover by taking the ball 17 yards around the right side and in for the game's first score. After the Bears went three and out, Harsh somehow makes himself invisible on this play as whoop one Bear misses and whoop another Bear misses and he picks up the first down. In the second quarter, Keaton Long Gone John smells the end zone again, and nobody's gonna catch him as he goes 20 yards around the left end for six. On the Bears' next possession, Zarek Perkins forgot the ball, whoop, and Joe Paul Arbizo is Joey on the spot to pick up the lost potato. After the turnover, Jarek Arbizo gives too good of a fake to Dylan Durrell, and the ref blows the play dead when Durrell is tackled. Only problem here is Durrell didn't have the ball, and Jarek was still running and hadn't even been touched when the play was called dead. On third and nine from the 18, long gone John takes it around the right edge and dives in for his third touchdown of the night. Oh, but the refs call him out just before the end zone, and indeed it was a good call by the refs as John just steps on the line before starting his dive. This time Jarek does give it to Durrell and fakes out our cameraman as Durrell takes it in from four yards out, putting Safford up 21 to nothing. On their next possession, long gone John shows he's human after all and whoop, coughs up the ball, which was then recovered by Anthony Clay of Coolidge. The Bulldogs defense held, however, and on fourth and five, Safford brought the house and Valentine Rodriguez's push pass was eventually ruled incomplete. With time running out in the first half, Payson, that's so harsh, takes the ball downfield, making the Bears miss. Whoop, 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 all the way to the 15-yard line. That's so harsh, then finished the drive by powering around the right side, and Safford went into the locker room up 28 to nothing and feeling good. The Bears started moving the ball in the second half and got its run game and pass game clicking. On fourth and four from the 19, Rodriguez can't handle the high snap, but it's tipped to Jared Hunt, who snags it and runs right by a plethora of Bulldogs for the Bears' only score on the night. As Joe Paul Arbizo says no more and blocks the extra point attempt. On third and forever, long gone John takes it around the right side and this time he stays just in bounds and turns it upfield for a nice first down. On the very next play, that's so harsh, ends the scoring on the night with a 10 yard scamper into the end zone and Safford takes its homecoming 35 to six. Here's a bonus tidbit for you ref watchers. It's fourth and a short two and Safford needs to get to the 36 yard line for a first down. Josh Romero takes the handoff and crosses the 35-yard line to the 34. Flag on the play against Safford, however, but Coolidge declines the penalty and is instead given the ball inside its own 35-yard line on a turnover on downs, even though it was a first down by roughly two yards. It wouldn't matter, however, as the long pass down the sideline is tipped and the two players hug it out on the good try. With 13 tackles, a couple of sacks, and a fumble recovery, Safford linebacker Bailey Sanford was chosen as the GVC player of the game. I was just getting some luck on the A-gaps, and that's about it. As a middle linebacker, you always going forward at the start of the play? Yeah. Yeah, I always take that first step. It's always going to be run for me, I feel like. <laughs> Any uh, words to your teammates about uh, how the game went tonight? Well, me and Taylor and uh, Ezra, I felt like we were like the trio tonight. 
we did really well. We worked together, and uh, I'm just glad to get the W. It's been a while, so just excited to get in the win column again. It looked like uh, you guys did a really good job handling line of scrimmage, big holes for your running backs. This is a good opportunity to get those younger guys some some plays so they get a little more experience. Right. Well, I mean, we just seen practice, and you know, we get next gap. We had quite a few injuries tonight. We had, I think, 12 total guys that weren't playing tonight. So we just tried to get some other guys in, and they stepped up and played well. Anything you want to say about a homecoming victory here tonight? <laughs> just excited homecoming's over. <laughs> the win improves Stafford's overall record to 3-4 and four as they travel next week to face Benjamin Franklin, whose only loss this year has been to unbeaten American leadership in Week 1. Reporting from Stafford for Gila Valley Central, I'm John Johnson.